We now know how Yuta's copy technique works and the exact conditions he needs to meet in order to copy somebody's curse technique. But in chapter 267, there were some mistranslations around this, so I wanted to clarify all of it. So in order for Akotsu to copy somebody's technique, Rika has to consume a part of that individual. However, it's far more nuanced than just Rika going to take a bite out of somebody and Yuta getting access to the technique. We found out that the stronger that a curse technique is, the more that Rika will have to consume of that person in order to copy the technique. Additionally, if whatever Rika consumes then gets healed, for example, Rika eats Gojo's arm, but then he uses RCT to heal it, that will be null and void, and it will no longer count to copy the technique. This is why Yuji has not healed his ring finger, because Rika ate that finger in order to copy Shrine, and if he were to heal it, Yuta would no longer have access to it. Now here's where the mistranslations from last night come into play, because as we know, both Inumaki and Angel are missing one of their arms. We also know that Yuta has copied their techniques, and in the translations last night, it was implied that Inumaki and Angel were purposefully holding off on being healed, intentionally waiting to have their arms restored so that Yuta could maintain access to their copied techniques. However, that is incorrect. They weren't intentionally waiting. The truth is, they can't be healed. They cannot get their arms back, period. That's beyond the reach of RCT and modern medicine. But to kind of make the most of that bad situation, it's good news for Yuta because it means he will be able to maintain access to those techniques. And we're still not done with the nuance on the copy here because there's also binding vows at play. Remember how Rika just ate Yuji's ring finger and yet he was still able to copy Shrine, even though I said the more powerful the technique, the more you have to eat of somebody? Well, Yuta found a way around that by enacting a binding vow, where Rika can eat a smaller portion of somebody, but in return he will only get to use the copy technique a limited amount of times. And then finally, we also learned that just because Yuta copies a technique doesn't mean he will be granted a full understanding of it. And in fact, he told us that he needed Inumaki's help to figure out cursed speech. So anyways, yeah, that's the gist of it. And I just wanted to put this video out to make sure everybody was on the same page after the mistranslations. Plus, it's just cool to know the exact conditions after wondering for so long. But anyways, y'all, thank you so much for watching.